Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the video I wanted to do last time, but it was raining. It is still a bit raining, unfortunately, but not heavy. Um, and I've been here before quite a few times. I actually shot a little bit of an old amateur movie here 30 years ago uh, around the, uh, the church. But I brought it back to St. Peter's Church in Woodmanston. I so I had done video from Woodmanston before. I think that was in January 2019. I'll link that below. Um, and they reckon that there's been a, a settlement, a church on this a site since Saxon times. Since Saxon times. So yeah, interesting. Let's have a look around. Okay, they've got a service going on, so we can't really go in, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, but we can have a look around, look at the churchyard. It's all very nice. And I'm going back to the Mint, which I was here about this time last year, for uh, lunch. Um, yeah, hopefully we might be able to, they might stop the service, we can go and have a look. What's interesting about Woodmanston is until the 20th century, it was really an isolated hamlet. It goes off the main road, away from the main thoroughfare of traffic, to sort of cut off a little bit. And now you've got the sprawl of suburbia. As you can see, it's a modern housing over there in Chipsid Valley. Um, so it's not so secluded now. You've obviously the, the growth of Sutton, the growth of Carshilton, the growth of Croydon. It sort of lost a little bit of its charm. <clears throat> but say, look at that, beautiful church. The medieval church here was rebuilt in 1870 or in the 1870s, as we see it now, pretty much. But there is some of the original building within the uh, chancel as you walk in. I always find it such a shame when you see tombs like this all, all broken up. Woodmanston was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 as Oberdomester. I can't pronounce it. it sounds German. But it's obviously Saxon. Odomeresta. Yeah, try there getting that off your tongue. It's a nice little church actually. I'm wondering if the congregation can finish so I can go and have a look. Records of baptisms, weddings and burials are almost complete here, the records, and go back to 1566, 1566. Amazing. Just off and have a quick look around. The known rectors of Woodmanston going back to 1298 up to 2020. Isn't that amazing? They're all very friendly. I said, do you mind if I went up to the, the lady, vicar, and said, oh, do you mind if I quick look around? She said, yeah, please come in, come in, come in. That's very nice. This is quite a modern porch and dedications to the people lost in the Great Wars. 1935, 1914 to 1918. So there are graves here, part of the Graves War, War Graves Commission, which I think is always great to see. People who sacrifice their lives for our freedom. Well, as we're here, and I was there once before, so I'm gonna have another look at it. Let's pop down to the communal garden here in Woodmanston. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but um, why not? When I shot this amateur film based on a very certain TV show, uh, it's just celebrated a very long anniversary. We did this amateur version, fan film. We shot little bits around here around Woodmanston, around the village hall, where um, our heroes get caught. Yeah, that was 19, 
91. That was filmed 1991. Holy crap, 33 years ago. But as that character would have probably said, time is relative, isn't it? You think you get that out in the countryside when you're out in a little village, you're getting it here in Woodmaston as well. As soon as you just put the camera on, someone's got to start streaming or cutting something down. Here we go, the community garden. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, I remember coming here 2019. Just a nice little area for people to chill out in. Oh, shut up, drill. Sorry about that. Lovely snowdrops we've got here, some snowdrops. It's coming to season. And over there is the allotment. Nice benches to chill out on. This place really is quite cool. Very cool. Just to come and chill out. But it's nice on a summer's day, not on a wet February day. But it's warming up. I think spring, it just feels spring in the air a little bit now. Yes. Nice. Say, so, Woodmanston's a really funny little village because I say, not funny, it's not ha ha ha, but it's got this sort of villagey feel with suburbia thrown in at the same time. Because just think about it, just pre-First World War, these would have been isolated hamlets, as I was saying before. And, you know, the progress of modern suburbia and urbanisations just sort of destroyed, shut up, and just destroyed some of that. <laughs> I wish I could find all the footage, make a video of all the times I started shooting and someone starts streaming or drilling or doing something. <laughs> okay, away from all that uh, tree felling or whatever they're doing with the drill or the, or the saw, let's head over to Banstead, to the Mint. I was going to try and have um, lunch in the Woodman, um, but that's uh, full up. They don't have any bookings, so uh, we'll go down to the Mint instead. Let's go. Hmm. Well, we made it to the Mint, and it's now peeing down with rain. Um, so we just missed the uh, the downpour. I love the mint. I've been going to come into the mint on and off since about I think I'll come here in the 1980s. And if memory serves, I've mentioned this before. I remember having a drink with the drummer from the Bay City Rollers. It must have been a little mid to late 80s. And uh, I got this really weird recollection of that. Then came here much many years later. He's come here with me. Take my mum out for lunch. Um, I came here just last year. Um, did a little video around Banstead showing some of the locations uh, which we used for my film Dawn Razor back in 2001. Well, I'll link that below as well. Yes, yeah, a lovely pub. I've always had some good, good grub in here. Good grub. Banstead, once again, is like Woodmanston. Very, it got, it's still got a little bit of that villagey feel in some parts of it, but the sprawl of suburbia has really sort of taken over, you know. So yeah, let's go in and have some lunch. I'm gonna say, hope you've enjoyed the video. Very short, I know. Uh, I don't know how much content is <laughs> worth watching, but hey, you've watched it now. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.